brand new to the market, being announced SHOT Show 2024, the Mars C. Last week we looked at the Corvette and the Lamborghini. Today we're gonna look at the Ferrari of weapon-mounted rangefinders. What's different, Derek? It's got the same rangefinding capabilities, very similar footprint, larger display screen, and IR illumination and an IR laser. Let's check it out. So the Mars C, or the Miniature Advanced Range Finding System, is being announced at SHOT Show 2024. I got a call after someone saw my other Range Finder video where I was running my MRF XC, or my MRF, my Wilcox, and they were like, hey, I've got a unit that is as fast or faster with a larger display screen. I said, cool, I think I'm done with testing Range Finders. He said, you're not. I said, why? He said, because it's more comparable to the Raptor S in that it has an IR illuminator and an IR laser. Mind blown. No, but I had to test it. So we're out here at the range freezing our butt off for you, baby, YouTube. So let's test it at distance with the same test we ran the MRF through and then talk through some of the features. A couple quick notes with this unit. First off, has a very small and similar footprint to the Mars LC, which was released a couple, six months ago or something like that. However, the big, big difference is this unit not only has range finding capability, ballistic capability, applied ballistics, what have you, it has IR illuminator and an IR laser. So everything that the Raptor S has, but with a better laser and in a way smaller and much faster package based on the test we just did today. First thing we're gonna test today, speed of return. Want to know how fast it's reading down range. Also, two MOA targets and one MOA targets. Guys, I own the MRF, the MRFXE. I have no reason to defend this thing. I spent the money and own that unit, which interestingly enough is actually at the shop right now because I had to send it in because I took it out in 20 degree weather and it didn't work. Now, I'm not giving up on the unit, anything of that nature. Pretty rare occurrence. It's off at Wilcox right now. I wanted to do a side by side comparison. That's not going to happen. That's why. Back to the Mars C. What if I noticed different than the MRF? A couple things. First off, the display is definitely bigger. The feedback seems pretty similar, although this does seem a little bit faster. Curious to see the results. It also has a much more ergonomic cable system that I like a lot. The remote, when you click the read button, it gives you a buzz, like a feedback that like, hey, I'm reading. Uh, so I kind of like that too at night when you're hunting, it's it's useful. Size-wise, very similar to the MRF. It, this one uh, might be a little bit taller, but it's about like a deck of cards is kind of how I would define the size of that thing on really both units. Uh, so footprint's really fantastic. Now this is rated up to a 300 normal mag. I've not tested it on something like that, but it is capable. Guys are testing, recoil testing it, and it's uh, proving to serve very well in that capacity. Availability. Guys, this is gonna be available Q1 of 2024, which means you can have the PEC 15-like usage from an IR illuminator. Uh, it actually has a focusable beam. Now, of course, wouldn't you know it, right? When I buy a MRF, Wilcox just announced their MRF XE, which is similar to this model in that it's going to allow for IR laser and light as well. That being said, I have no idea when that's gonna be available, no idea on cost. I can tell you this will be available Q1 of 24, and the MSRP is gonna be $10,925. A ton of the capabilities of the PEC-15 with the long range applied ballistic range finder solver solutions, I've been really impressed so far. I took my MRF out in cold weather, dropped down to 20 degrees, it wouldn't work, wouldn't range. Again, it's at the shop. I've not given up hope by any stretch of the imagination on that one but in colder weather, it, it didn't perform. I tried new batteries, I tried everything, it didn't work. They said that that was a rare occurrence. This, I took out in the same conditions a week later. It got sleeted on, it got snowed on, it was really, really cold, it got down to like 20 degrees. It performed flawlessly. I ranged cows out to 1200 yards. I took a shot at a coyote at 650 yards. 
Uh, it, it really performed exceptionally well at night. It really performed exceptionally well under extreme conditions. Really impressed so far. So let's test it at distance with the same test we ran the Murph through. Let's check it out. All right, guys, you know the drill. We're gonna go downrange, see the performance of the Mars C downrange, feedback time. I'm gonna go ready, set, and then I'm just gonna click because when I said press, it kind of throws it a little bit, it's just easier. And then I'll go back to the hundredth of a second when I'm editing this to get the timer started. So that's what, that's what we'll do. All right, we're gonna start at 400 yards. 400, ready, set. Man, that's quick. <laughs> ready, set. All right, guys, 600 yards, two them away target. Ready, set. Ready, set. Let's try the one MOA. Ready, set. Ready, set. I'm gonna hold. And then let's shoot the back here. 610. We got 700, two them away. Ready, set. Ready, set. 800. That redneck blind is in the way. So I'm gonna start on this big target. Ready, set. Ready, set. Uh, let's go to the small target here. Let's see if they'll get this one. Ready, set. Ready, set. Okay. 900. Two them away target. Ready, set. Ready, set. Longer hold. Precise read was within a yard. Uh, let's try for the one MOA. Ready, set. Ready, set. You know how we do it. Who called me up? Freaking Preston at Strictly Offensive Kit. He's the one that was challenging me on this unit. Where do you find a Mars when they come out? Strictly Offensive Kit. Preston and his team over there do a consultation with you, find out where you're at, where you wanna be, what you have, what you don't have, and kind of walk you down the path. Strictlyoffensivekit.com, we'll put his info in the description. Really appreciate them being, again, our title sponsor and sending me this fun unit to goof around with. Unfortunately, it's gotta go back, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Thanks, Preston. Give him a call, look him up, guys. Guys, why would you need an illuminator and an IR laser? Let me give you a real case example. When I took this out last weekend, we had a coyote come in. We had multiple wildlife in the field. There were multiple deers. There were cows ranging from 200 to 400 yards. Really long story short, on our electronic call, we hit raccoon fight. We tried every other call. We thought, what the heck? Sure enough, raccoons started coming out of trees. Literally one of them even tackled our caller. However, I stayed panning on my thermal and I saw that there was a coyote at the distance at about 380 yards. So I'm yelling to my cousins, coyote, coyote, coyote. And they're like, raccoon, raccoon. I'm like, no, coyote. And they're like, a raccoon's tackling my call. Had all three of us had PVS 14s on one of our eyes or both of our eyes, I could have said, look at my laser. Shine that laser on the coyote, undetected to the coyote, and immediately PID for everybody what was happening downrange. Now, we were fortunate enough that coyote came to the call and I shot him at 167 yards. However, that's a prime example of a real practical application where just a weapon mounted rangefinder solution wasn't really enough to clear the air and get everything done. So 
Obviously it has a ton of military application. If you're using night vision, it has a ton of application, but even if you're just hunting with a thermal clip on and you're walking the field with a PVS 14, like I do, and a thermal on your other eye and that sort of setup, and you're with people that have like-minded setups, you guys can ID things and figure out what's going on and communicate much, much better. That's a super useful tool. All right guys, so here we are again. This is with the cap off this time. I didn't realize I had the lim limiter cap on there that you can use for daytime. This shows both the cone, the IR illumination. Now it's a pretty bright night out here, so this would be much more prevalent if it were darker. But you can see that, that tree at about 80 yards, just kind of the power we're talking about as I focus the cone of light and then broaden it. And then you can see the, this is the setting where I also have the laser, the IR laser on as well. Let's flip to just the laser now, as you can see on the tree. Again, if there were a coyote, you could see that where I'm pointing now is like 300 yards, 400 yards. You can very clearly see that laser and then come back on the tree. If there were a coyote in a situation like what I just described, if there was a coyote out there, I could say, hey, check my laser. And anyone with PVS 14 could then see that with no problem. So really a cool feature. I'm gonna pull my phone back here so you can see it's nighttime. Um, that's really neat. And then obviously I'm still sitting on the tree and you cannot see the laser. Let me turn on the visible laser now. And you can see the red dot, the viz laser. Pretty cool feature. Availability, this will be available Q1 of 24. Again, they're announcing it at SHOT Show this week. If you have been waiting to get one of these, if you're a PEC 15 kind of guy and you're like, man, I have to have the IR light and laser capability, your weight's over. The big chunky systems, uh, you don't need them anymore. You've got all that right here. This actually allows you to also focus your light and the cone of light to be more precise. Really a cool feature. This package will be available Q1 of 24 and is going to retail for $10,925. A lot of money, no doubt. But again, with all the capabilities of like a PEC-15, IR light, IR laser, and the ability to concentrate that light, really neat. I've been really impressed so far. Guys, check Mars out. Check this out at SHOT Show. The Mars C new weapon mounted rangefinder. Boom, baby. Guys, if you like this video, if this video was helpful, please hit a like and subscribe for us. We're gonna keep making content like this. We will check you out in the next video. Looking forward to it. We'll see you soon. I know, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Bruh, that hoodie is dope. Correct, sir. It is. And I want to give him a shout out. Guys, I bought this hoodie, but I want to give him a shout out because it's a veteran-owned company. Combat Iron Apparel. CombatIronApparel.com. Check them out. They got a bunch of really cool gear. I'm going to be getting some more. Uh, just was really impressed. This is my first Wooby uh, hoodie. It's freaking freezing out here. Your boy D-Dunk is toasty. CombatIronApparel.com. Check those guys out, man. Always good to support veterans.